Reverse. 1999 is an upcoming gacha game with visuals like this, and it had a sparing Russian girl at one point. It's the duality of mobile games, you see. On one end, you have games going like, please give me the R16 rating, please, for sex. Oh, okay. Please just give us the 12 plus rating, even if we spare a little and have a man shoot himself seconds into their trailer, please. Dang, nabbit. To fight against the shitty and unfair landscape of Google Play, your team of three characters punish the Grey Raven, but without the action. Each character in your team has a deck of cards that you can use to heal, attack, Counter. debuff, or buff. Any same cards that are adjacent to each other combine, boosting, and sometimes changing the card's effect. You can also choose to swap cards to make combinations happen faster, but that takes up one of your ability points per turn. Depending on the level of the card, your character's moxie bar fills. Specials go anywhere from big damage to letting the sentient radio kill itself. At the end of each turn, you gain scale, which can be used to use active skills that shuffle your hand or create a card that can combine with others. Also, here's your weapon circle and gacha stick. I never thought I'd see you in a full budget release. As for the story, I don't want to be spoiled before the game releases, and neither do you. Watch this trailer. I will shake the visual director's hand and never wash it, hoping some wisdom is left on it. You'll just have to see me see the story myself. So here is my made-up story in mind from watching the trailers. Free time travel disaster death game led by a woman, either before or during the events of the game. We survive, possibly not as intended participants, and get to have a blast from the past, including Chaz. I don't, I don't bang the ladies. I trombone them. And the Middle Ages, when they send me their UFO and rabies. What? Humans are humans and Arcanists are anything? Sentient apple. Dog named Pickles. This all happening. Meanwhile, we're looking for our mom. Uh, is the story in third person? There seems to be a slight indifference of the public to the disaster going on, so seemingly it's somewhat normal. If evil by what? Totally non-sus organization our characters are from. With all that being said, the story has a chance to move at an amazing pace with revelations and betrayals happening through the eras in one continuous and great story. Don't fuck it up. The budget is here. That being said, seeing this trailer and seeing that this is a gacha game makes me irrationally angry. Gachas have to keep moving on, to have mediocre and bad parts where the writing team just can't do anything as they need to pump out more characters, character stories, tackle issues at the base level with no subtlety and no depth. I just want this to be a close, smooth, well-written story and not an episodic gacha show ass plea. That being said, if they do pull off an episodic story well enough, it, if it works, it works. It's the fucking Genshin model! Why? God damn it! Is that your phone, or are you just happy to see me? Oh, it's your wallet. Oh, no, 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 no. With a soft pity. At least that's nice. The music in this game is, uh, moody. You probably won't be headbanging or crying during this, but when it slaps, it slaps hard. I don't know yet, besides hearing that, it's slow. Honestly, I started to realize I just hate gacha game grinding and that's why I don't keep up with basically any. FGO and Limbus are godsends that you can come back to for events and story only and just have the time of your life and not have to actively grind for 200 hours to get that one character that looks fun viable. I still question why Arknights, while adding so many game modes, doesn't add one to help players just starting out catch up on upgrade materials and allow them to speed through the main story before hitting them with a boring ass grind. But we're getting off topic here. I I am barely a gacha game YouTuber, so I won't pretend this game will be the second coming of Christ. Your enjoyment of the game will depend on what mechanical complexity you can bear, and if you get invested in the story. It's quite the spectrum. Besides that, this will likely be like every gacha game. Start with a bang and then the content route makes people leave and move on to the next game. So should you care about this game? Well, if you think you'll like it, with its unique story concept and wonderful presentation, it will definitely carve out an audience that will stick with this game for a while.
the last day of 1999, the world started to get reversed in the storm. It's just the end of an era. So you have a mother. Your mama.